Hey everybody, it's Dr. Gaffney from Dr. Gaffney Best Foot. We're going to learn how to mold our Spanko Orthotics. And as a reminder, this video does not intend to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease or disorder. It's not intended to be a doctor-patient relationship, so please consult your doctor. And here's the Spanko Orthotics. They're now called Spanko RX. I love these for acute plantar fasciitis. The size is on the top there. And it's heat moldable, and that's why I like it, because people can adjust it for their feet. And I got the three-quarters length, so I have room in the toe box. Um, in the, the plastic part here, you want it to make sure it doesn't press up and do the ball of your foot. It's a flexible arch there. The heel counter does need to be a little deeper than what it is. Here is our setup. You need tongs there to handle the hot inserts as you put them in and out of the boiling water. So our water needs to boil. And once you get it boiled, we can start to do your cooking. And then you put your orthotics in there and it'll, the boiling water will soften that plastic so you can mold them to your foot. And that makes them customizable, which is awesome. So you get them down in there. It's okay if it floats, it'll still soften. You set your timer for two minutes and that's how long you leave it in the boiling water. And then use your tongs to get them out. Be quite warm. So eventually get them out. <laughs> so here they go. And um, by the time that you take it over um, to mold it, they should be cool enough to manipulate. So you just put it on a flat pillow with a towel on top and make sure your foot is in the arch and in the heel well and then you need to, your knee and ankle needs to be at 90 degrees then you push your, your first metatarsal down there i'll show you more later how to do that but that'll take tension off the plantar fascia when you push that first metatarsal down you got to make sure it's 90 degrees there um first metatarsal head being pushed down and right here is where you find your first metatarsal head. You get that joint there, and then that where I'm pushing right there is the first metatarsal. I outlined where the bones are. Um, your heel needs to be 90 degrees to the floor. And the device there, here's heel bisectors on my heels. And I'm going to step into my orthotic. And this is another way to make sure you did it right. The heel bisector needs to be 90 degrees to the floor. My left heel is a little bit skewed and I do have a turned out heel so but you can wedge that to make it straight and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like my channel see you next time